Hi, today I will show you how to use the character display. It's 16 by 2 characters. It has a driver. It has a jumper to enable the backlight. To connect it to Arduino we need 4 wires. It uses I2C bus, so we need to connect Grant, 5 volts, SDA and SCL. We need a library for it. This library from Marco Schwartz is great. In the examples tab, some examples appear. Let's open Hello World. We can now upload it. And it works. On the back there is a potentiometer to control the contrast. Looking at different angles may require different contrast. Here's a green LCD, which works the same way. We need to reset the Arduino after connecting it. Here we can adjust the contrast as well. The range of contrast on the green display is a bit higher. From complete dark to complete transparent. Let's make some fixes. The library is suited for 20 by 4 display, but we have 16 by 2. LCD init and LCD backlight are the functions to initialize the display. We can change the printed text. Set cursor tells the display the position from which we will print text. I will write some function to change the text over time.
Now let's change the entire line. Now you can see the previous text doesn't disappear. We need to add some spaces at the end, so the text overrides. Let's run some custom characters example. It just shows every character that can be displayed, as well as custom characters. Here's a nice website to create custom characters. We can change the type of connection, which is I2C in our case. Color and data type are just for the look. This website uses a different library, which has different init functions, but everything else will work. Also we need to change the address. There are two types of the drivers with address 0x27 and 0x3f. And here it is, a smiley face. Now let's make a second character. To create a second character, we need to assign it and write it with a different index, so the LCD differentiates them. And here it is. I'm writing some code to change the entire contents of the display. That way we can check a few values at the same time. I need to add some extra spaces. I 
how to connect it without the driver. We need a breadboard. Let's open the liquid crystal example, not the I2C. And here's the instruction. We need an additional 10 kilo ohm potentiometer to control the contrast. Let's upload the code. And of course we need to adjust the contrast. It works, but backlight doesn't work. We also need to connect it separately with 200 ohm resistor and two wires. So this module is very handy because it saves us so many wires. We only need to stick it together in a breadboard and it will work. 